boy, buddy. Hey, this is Brian with the Balanced Dog, and this is George. Uh, he's got a nickname now, Curious George. So, uh, really quick, he's a <clears throat> a really, really, really high flight dog, really fearful. And the the main thing I look at that my main goal with these dogs when I'm starting are two things that I look at: um, redirecting the flight, and that's just basically uh, when doing long line work. Uh, if he goes in the flight, I let him go, and I just change my direction. So I'm trying to minimize the flight, uh, by, and by doing that, I'm trying to build the pack drive. So typically, you can't recall these dogs early on because they're just so afraid. So the best thing to do is more direction change, let them go in the flight, let them go past you, change your directions. Over time, they start to pack up with you. The good thing about him, he's got really high pack drive. So the other factor that I look at is a dog's recovery time. So when they do get startled, how far in flight do they go and how quickly do they recover and come back in the pack drive? So the, as I've stated in a lot of my videos, when I'm doing place work with dogs, I do not correct them on high levels with the e-collar for breaking the place. Doesn't matter if the dog's a solid dog, a fearful dog, a high flight dog, I just never do it. I use a, I'll use a leash check or I'll use spatial pressure if it looks like they're gonna break the place. But in George's case, uh, especially if he's breaking the place because of out of fear, he's going into flight, I wanna allow that. I don't wanna suppress the flight behavior. That is the big problem when the dogs are corrected on e-collars, especially on higher levels for breaking the place because now you're suppressing the behavior and that's an instinctual behavior for survival so we want to let that dog go into flight we just want to show it where to go when it goes into flight and that's basically to pack up with me so this is why i'm wearing my lovely straw hat that my lovely neighbor sunny gave me uh, because every time i put something on it kind of makes him uneasy and he runs away from it so we're just always changing the game but let's see if we can get him to come in george come here buddy Let's go. George. See, it's the hat. George. Good boy. There you go. Let's go. Well done, buddy. Well done. George, play. So what I'll do when I'm doing place work with them is I'll, I'll back tie him here. There he goes. See, all this movement. I'm not going to correct that. You know, I'm not going to correct that. I'm just going to recall him back. George! Let's go. Better boy, buddy. Place. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Place. Place. Good. Well done. So, when I'm back tying them, what I'm going to do is, this is a 15 foot Lucas Agnew long line. So I have it back tied with a clove hitch here on the carabiner, but it's probably about eight feet, you know, nine feet of, of leash. So I'm going to start to shorten his flight. I, he's been here a little bit over a week and, uh, you know, he's, look at that face. And uh, so, you know, eight feet of flight, that's enough for him. You know, in the beginning, it was, I was giving him a full leash, you know. So. In, a, in an instance where he he might get startled or something like if I if I throw my hat over here um, normally he would have taken off <clears throat> but again if I'm if I'm doing something or moving around too quickly and he goes into flight he's gonna come onto that leash pressure which he understands so I've limited his flight George place All right and I'm gonna put him back on the place board again you understand he needs that he needs to go into that flight. He is so ingrained to do that, that it's not gonna, correcting this is not gonna fix the problem. It'll only make it worse. You're gonna suppress him. You're gonna suppress the behavior. So you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get either a dog that's fully shut down or it gets so bad they, they try and bite the handler because they're being forced into a situation where you should actually allow them to have that instinctual behavior. You just have to control it. So every time you get startled, 
safety is going to be here. So being punitive is not the answer. Then it won't make this safe anymore. You know, so just a quick little thing on, on George before it gets too hot and the phone shuts off because it overheats and before George overheats. But you see any of my quick movements, he's going to eventually get used to it. He's not going to be a dog that's fixed by the time he leaves here, but he's going to have a really good foundation and the owners are extremely dedicated. And you know, it's just going to take time. It's going to take time and patience. Sorry, that's how it works. Time and patience. Right, George? Well done, buddy. Let's go.